Greetings, friends. Uh, Elizabeth Wolf here uh, to share some words with you. Um, I have the honor of serving as a facilitator for a community of practice uh, that is hosted by Isaac that is focused on uh, healing whiteness through um, embodied anti-racism practice. And this work is um, in service to building capacity and resilience within white bodied people who are um, claiming and, and trying to live into an anti-racist and an embodied anti-racist identity and way of being. And um, the, the work is informed by um, Resma Medikem and his book, My Grandmother's Hands, um, as well as others around the country who are doing um, politicized somatics work, um, otherwise known as uh, somatic abolitionism or embodied anti-racism. And the message that I want to share today is just a message of um, encouragement and hope, uh, particularly for white, white bodied people to, um, to uh, claim your uh, role in um, healing from and um, recovering from uh, internalized white supremacy. Uh, it is um, imperative to the work of racial justice and collective liberation for white folks to find their self-interest in um, uprooting uh, these, uh, these ways of being, uh, ways of relating to ourselves and each other and to people of color and to the land, to the waters um, that we have been trained to, to do. And, um, and despite our best intentions, we really have to do a lot of intentional work to um, counteract um, a lot of uh, what has been socialized into us and embodied into our very nervous systems for generations and generations. And um, as my um, as my dear colleague Resma Menachem talks about, um, you know, we've tried trainings for many years in this movement, and while trainings are were, are important and are necessary, um, we're not going to be able to train racism away and we have to actually transform our nervous systems and transform our um, our hearts and our bodies and heal from the trauma of racialization that has um, caught us all up in this mess of um, dehumanizing uh, hierarchy this false hierarchy of human value and um, so I encourage and invite um, fellow white body people uh, who are listening and watching this series of videos to to really um, examine the the practices that are um, holding you accountable and the ways in which you can um, counteract things like individualism and either or thinking and uh, scarcity secrecy um, things that uh, keep us from really living into our, our values, our more transformative values, our anti-racism um, values. Uh, and so it, it, it is more than just having good intentions. It is more than, um, you know, trying to do the right thing. And it's not about helping fixing and saving people of color. It's about helping ourselves and saving ourselves from this insidious, illness of white supremacy that is damaging on a spiritual level and which has to be interrupted and transformed on that on that level and on a somatic or bodily level as well. So if you're new to thinking about this work in this way, um, having to do with the body and the nervous system, um, somatics, I encourage you to check out Resma's work. Um, his website is resma, R-E-S-M-A-A dot com and um, to learn more about the ways in which um, we can practice um, literal practices, embodiment practices that help us to actually heal and transform from internalized white body supremacy so that we can show up in ways that, uh, that are resilient and accountable in solidarity with people of color um, as we collectively work toward uh, collective liberation. So thank you so much for listening and for all the work that you're doing. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this community and uh, <laughs> and uh, sending lots of love your way and um, 
feel free to uh, to reach out and uh, uh, happy to connect. Thanks.